Hey Fixters and welcome to today's Python one-liner session. So this is part of my video series to the launch of my new book Python uh, one-liners uh, that appears in June 2020. On Amazon it's already out at no start so if you google it you will find it. Um, and um, today's lesson is about, is a, is in the, is about the data science chapter so I, I will record one, one video lesson for each Python one-liner um, uh, uh, chapter in the book okay so we have many uh, 60 chapters in the book about different areas uh, in the co in computer science field and uh, the first chapter is about python tricks and the second chapter is about data science and in particular numpy and uh, the numpy library and uh, so in this video today today i focus on the numpy library so i already recorded two videos about the numpy library if you haven't seen them then check them out they should be linked there's also a python one-liner um uh a video series which you can access a playlist in YouTube so you can access this there as well or even I don't know it depends where you access this but you will find uh, so the data science series one and two and you should watch them before watching this video okay so in this video we are going to address the um, air quality index data so so as you as you may know we have um, like um, we have a story, we tell a story in each uh, chapter and in this chapter the story is uh, we have some pollution data like, like this one and we want to find cities with abo above average pollution. Okay, so say we have this data and we have some, some city, city data. Okay, so this is like this is the air quality index. So this, this is some real world data. I actually got this data from um, from the web, from an online data set, for example, you have some uh, some numerical values associated to the city of Hong Kong, and um, they are pretty high, which means high, which means that the air quality is pretty low. In Berlin, for example, the air quality is much better than in, like, say, New York, for example. Okay, so the lower the better, and um, uh, yeah, the higher the data, the more pollution you have. And we want to find cities with above average pollution given these two uh, data sets. Okay, in, in a single line of code, of course, this is a challenge. Okay, and I will gradually build this, build the code with you together and then explain it on the fly how to accomplish this. Okay, so um, here we start our one-liner. How can we find the cities with above average pollution? So if you want, you can also pause the video here and try it yourself. Um, it's actually it's so if you know if you are a NumPy master then it will be very easy for you to figure it out with NumPy um, otherwise you may want, want to um, learn about the NumPy library first and maybe just watch and enjoy the video okay so I've just imported the NumPy library and um, yeah now we create a variable cities and here we have some we like write our one-liner but first like as I'm doing this I will basically maybe gradually build um, uh, what we want to accomplish here. And so the first thing I want to show you is print um, broadcast, basically a Boolean indexing with broadcasting. Okay, uh, so first of all, if you, maybe let's start with the, with, with the most basic thing. Okay, we want to find the cities with above average pollution. So we just pass pass the variable x, which is this uh, two-dimensional um, matrix here, we pass it into the average function in NumPy and then the average function just finds the average value among all values. So it doesn't care if you if you don't use the axis argument of the average function, the average function doesn't care about um, like in which row and which axis it, it is, it just goes over all numerical values and averages them. Okay, and if you print the result, then you will get the following. Uh, 24.33 okay so this is the average this is a, it's important that you have the average in, in order to find the above average okay so now now you now you know the cities you know the average value now you want to find cities with above average uh, pollution data okay and uh, uh, so pollution peaks so which means that Hong Kong so the, your result should be the string value Hong Kong New York um, not Berlin and not Montreal because they didn't um, cross this threshold of uh, of the average value okay and um, so now you have already accomplished kind of the first part of, of your one-liner which is 
um, calculating the average. But now you want to have the cities, you don't want to have the average value or so, you want to find the cities that peaked above average. And how can you find them? So first of all, you can use uh, the, uh, the non-zero function, np dot non-zero. Now I just write it, um, maybe before we do this, I will also show you like one intermediate step before, because I mean, the, the more I break it down into smaller steps, the easier it will um, um, become to understand. Okay, now, now what, what do I do here? Now I have a Boolean operation on a NumPy array x and a numerical value which is the average value 24.3. And um, so if you have, if you, if you perform this Boolean operation, then let's check what is the output here. The output is a Boolean array, okay? And for here for actually we perform this, um, this Boolean operation element wise. So for each element of our original array X, we check whether this element is larger than our average. Okay, so and um, basically internally, here, if you have a NumPy array on the one side of the Boolean operator and a numerical value on the other side, NumPy will perform an optimization called broadcasting. So it tries to broadcast the smaller array, which is like this one numerical uh, element, to the larger uh, array, to the, so that both have the same, uh, the same shape. And basically then it, like on the right hand side as an intermediate step, it it simply creates a new array and fills it with this average value 24.33 like um, with uh, with uh, four rows and uh, six columns and it's just it just copies like conceptually copies this whole value into each of those um, cells of the new array and then it takes the the original array on the left side and the new array on the right side with the average values and performs element wise comparison yeah this larger Boolean operate, operator performs element-wise comparison on the two matrices. And this what works because now both matrices have the same shape. And the result is a matrix where for each element it indicates whether this uh, Boolean operation was true or false. And as you may know, in Python the true value, the Boolean true value is represented by a one, uh, integer one. And the, um, Python, the false value is represented by an integer zero. Okay, so we have like if, if a city has above average um, pollution values, then the result will be true. Then it will have a row where there's at least one true. Otherwise, uh, the whole row will be false, okay? And um, now you can do the following. Now you can use the non-zero function, non-zero, on this whole thing, yeah, on this on this matrix, now you perform the non-zero function. Let's check what is the result of the non-zero non function. So the result is a tuple. The first the first tuple indicates all um, row all row in the indices where we have a where a non-zero value appears, and the second one appear uh, gives us all column values where the non-zero value appears. Okay, and here you see. Um, so if you take, like if you would zip them together, then you would get the first uh, index of the uh, of a um, non-zero element would be zero, zero, okay? Which is this index. The second index where a non-zero appears is zero, one, which is this one here. The third will be zero, two, which is this one, okay? And this just indicates, okay, it just goes, you, it goes over the whole matrix kind of, and here, for example, we have a non-zero value at two and two. So if you count the rows, zero, one, two, and two, we have a non-zero value here, okay? So this basically gives you all, as I said, all, in the first tuple value gives you, of the non-zero function gives you all columns, and the second one, all rows, um, uh, the other way around, so all rows and all columns of the elements that um, are non-zero. Like the true value is non-zero, the false value is zero, so non-zero non wouldn't return this. Non-zero function wouldn't wouldn't give an index for the false values. Okay, and now basically we want to find all rows where there is at least one true value, yeah, because this row then is the um, lm is means. So if there is a true true value, a true boolean value, then this means that there was an above average peak value. So we have some pollution, above average pollution value, and um, this city should be returned in the output. We want to find the cities with above average pollution peak values, okay? And uh, so basically, you can already see, like, 
this list here gives us the row indices where there appeared at least one zero, uh, one non-zero element. So one true value. So now basically we just have to remove. So if there's at least one non-zero um, element in a row, then this city should be returned to the shell. So uh, and for, for further consideration. And um, uh, which means that we just have to remove the duplicates from this list. Okay, to get all the in, uh, all the row indices of the cities um, that have above, that had above average pollution at one point. And um, yeah, how do we remove duplicates in a very efficient way? We simply so we first we first we return the zeros tuple element. As you know, we don't care about the columns. We only care about the rows. We only care about the rows. Why? Because we only care about the cities where at least one time appeared a non-zero um, um, element or at least one time we crossed the um, pollution threshold, the average pollution threshold. Okay, and as we only care about the um, rows, we simply use um, in the indexing to access the first tuple value. And now if you print this one, you get this, this list of elements or basically it's a one-dimensional NumPy array as return value. And now how can we, um, how can we remove all duplicates from a one-dimensional NumPy array? Yeah, we just pass it into the set. Constructor. Okay, like this. Now we have a set of values, zero, one, two. But um, actually this is like, for now, we don't want to like these. These are the indi indices of the cities that have that had above average pollution peaks. But now we want to. We don't want to have the indices. We want to have the city names by itself. So you can use a small trick here, which is we use the cities, um, the cities variable that contains a number array of the city names. Yeah. So Hong Kong for the first. So like the index of the of Hong Kong will be zero. Index of New York will be one, index of Berlin will, will be two and Montreal three. Okay, so it has the same order as the row indices here. Okay, so and therefore we can use um, on this whole thing, on the result, we simply, we simply take this whole thing um, with the, non, the result of the non-zero operation of the first tuple value of the non-zero operation, which are all rows where we have at least one um, peak pollution, one above average pollution peak. And we take all these indices and feed them back into the cities um, array, which will then return. So let's get rid of the set conversion first. We can, we can do this in a moment again. And this gives us for each, each time we have like, I just get rid of my face here. <laughs> so each time we cross the pollution value, we will get one output, yeah? So here for this zero, we will have Hong Kong. For this zero, we will have Hong Kong and so on, yeah? For this one, we will have New York. For this one, we, we will have New York again. And for this two, we will have Berlin, okay? Even in Berlin, we had uh, an above average pollution peak, okay? You see in Berlin here, uh, the average was 24 and 31 is above average, okay? So it correctly determines all the cities. But now we have a lot of duplicates. And again, we can remove the duplicates just with one outer set conversion. So doing this, then we we'll return in all the, let's make it smaller so that you can see it. So this now returns all the cities that have at least uh, one above average pollution peak in their rows. Okay. So magically with a, with a, in a, with a single line of code and Python code. So I've really tried to deconstruct each and every command we have, um, I, I have used here in this, in this function. And of course, I mean this, uh, if you are a NumPy beginner, this seems to be very unreadable. So you don't see at the first sight what happens here. But if you have more and more and more um, training uh, with these one-liners, then you will see it immediately. You will see what happen, what happens uh, very quickly. And um, it's just, I mean, master coders are just operate on a higher level. And why, why do they operate on a higher level? Only because they have more training, because they have seen more of those examples and studied more of those examples. So if you want to reach this level of proficiency in coding, then then just, I mean, go for um, studying more and more code snippets like this. Uh, maybe get the book Python one-liners and uh, like dive deep into into the single line of code in order for you to be able to understand every single line of code in Python. Okay, so check it out. And uh, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video. And um, 
subscribe if you like this video, check out the other videos of the Python one-liner session and see you in the next video. Bye.